Yo, what is good, Uber Nation? Welcome back to the channel. So, we already have two of the Ultimate Legends. We're only missing Spud Webb and Dikembe Mutombo. Now, I am going hard after Spud Webb, and there's a reason for that. We have a 102 overall small ball lineup. Uh, we have 99 overall Curry in that lineup right now. But this Spud Webb is a speed motivator. So, my theory is maybe, just maybe, if we plug Spud Webb in there as we reveal him right here, if we plug Spud Webb into the small ball lineup, maybe we can push it to a 103 overall lineup and just maybe we can push our franchise rating to a 102. So let's look at this beast and then hop into some gameplay. Hopefully we can uh, do well with him. He's the stats are absolutely insane. Uh, 98 speed, 97 dribble, 97 passing. He's got a decent three-point shot as well. 93 shooting and 90 defense. So he's going to steal the ball like crazy. And he is a speed motivator. So let's see what that looks like in our lineup here. Like I said, we have the 99 overall Curry, which has the buzzer beater ability. 102 overall small ball lineup. Can we push it to a 103? Can we push it? He actually has pretty good stats compared to Curry. Obviously, the three-pointers off and the dribbling, but it's pretty, pretty close. So let's see what that does. Uh, it turns out it's still a 102 overall lineup, uh, but the other players now just received another boost. So uh, like Dwayne Wade's got 99 speed now, 97 dribble, obviously. He's got plus 12 three-pointer because of all the boosts that we got um, all the cards pretty much are boosted pretty much maxed out this is one of the most savage lineups I think you can build we still have a Bill Ambier in here if we throw like a 98 overall in there um, we would probably probably push it to a 103 uh, but anyways 102 lineup we still have a 101 franchise rating but let's get into some head-to-head -head action here. Let's uh, let's let's play a couple quarters and see how the Spud Web really does. Uh, I still have the uh, Miami Heat uniforms. I should probably change that. Uh, change team. Let's let's go with the Hawks, I guess. Let's go with the Hawks. Uh, Spud Web's former team here, Atlanta. Atlanta, hot Atlanta. Where are they at? Where are they at? Uh, did I already scroll past them? I probably did. I probably did. There they are. All right. Let's go with the Hawks. I don't think I was ever the Hawks. Maybe when I did a Neek uh, review, but anyways, let's jump into a game here. We have our small ball lineup selected. Spud Webb is our starting point guard. Now, tell me in the comments, guys, who do you want to see as my starting point guard? Would you guys prefer Spud Webb or Steph Curry? Both of them are filthy. Um, look how small he is. Look how tiny he is. Oh, and of course, right off the bat, I get blocked. <laughs> let's see if he can hit that three. Oh, my God. Well, he is undersized. He's undersized. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. He is a little bit small, but can he hit it from way out here? Yes, he can. Wow. Okay. And the three pointer is his weakest stat. So that tells you everything you need to know here. We're going up against Boom Dizzle. It looks like Baron Davis, who is a pretty big uh, point guard. Not not that tall, but a uh, pretty um pretty thick, thicker than a snicker. You know what I mean, guys? Uh, Boom Dizzle is thicker than a snicker. Let's see if we can run by him. And that was a nice little spin spin move, one-handed layup off the glass there. Reminded me a lot of what IT's uh, been doing lately. And by the way, what do you guys think of that trade? Isaiah Thomas getting traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers for Kyrie Irving. I think, I mean, I'm a big, big Kyrie Irving fan. I love Isaiah Thomas too, don't get me wrong. I just don't feel like you can win... Um, you can win a championship with a with a really undersized guard, uh, and and that's the one thing that worries me about the Blazers. Even I mean, um, granted, uh, Damian Lillard's not as short. Oh, we got the in the paint ability. Let's see if we can make use of that. Let's go. Oh, two and a jam, baby. That wasn't a be most beautiful dunk, but it made it work. Um, you know, Damian Lillard probably six feet tall. I think he's listed at six three. He's probably he's probably six one. I don't know. Um, anyways, I feel like undersized guards become a liability uh, when it really comes down to it. You know what I mean? And oversized guards actually um, help out quite a bit. That's why you. Uh, that's why oftentimes you see Clay Thompson on uh, the point guard. You know what I mean? Uh, guarding the point guard. His six foot seven frame uh, really, really bodes well for uh, playing defense here. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, let's give it to Dr. J here in the paint as well. Oh my goodness, I just totally botched it in the paint. I don't know how that even happened. How can you even do that? Uh, but yeah, Isaiah Thomas to Cleveland, that's a good move. Um, 
That's probably the best team he could land on. Uh, with Le LeBron can uh, take a lot of the defensive heat, you know what I mean? He can probably play defense and kind of hide Isaiah Thomas. They were hiding Isaiah Thomas with Avery Bradley last year, so I would imagine they'll do the same with J.R. Smith and LeBron uh, playing defense on maybe some of the point guards that IT uh, can't quite guard. Oh, four, three, we got another in the paint. Oh, we're spinning too much. We did make it, one-handed jam, but uh, not before time expired. 12 to nine. We actually somehow win the quarter. I don't know how we did it. I wasn't even focused. I'm talking about Kyrie and Isaiah Thomas. Uh, but I think Kyrie going to Boston, that makes Boston an instant um, Eastern Conference uh, title contender, in my opinion. I think, man, I think Boston might just come out of it this year. Uh, the only thing is there's a lot of turnover, right? Uh, the chemistry might not quite be there. Let's play against Cleveland. Why not? Let's do one more quarter. Um, Whenever you add and subtract a lot of players, um, you got to kind of build up your chemistry again. So that's the only thing that's going to kind of probably hurt them a little bit uh, early on in the season. They're probably not, maybe they will have the best uh, record in the East. Who knows? Uh, but early on in the season, they're going to have to try to mesh well. What Good defense there, but they get the putback. Always bugs me when I can't get the, off or the defensive rebound. Uh, we haven't really focused on spud too much we need to we need to he can get to the rack that's for sure but be careful guys he is short he is gonna get a shot blocked sometimes especially when you got a guy like me uh controlling him you know what i mean uh and we're going up against boom dizzle again are you serious boom dizzle everywhere man people love that card that is a nasty card though i like that baron davis card uh you guys saw the review of that i did decent with him actually i did pretty good i think that was one of my better ones um Let's see. Oh, got by him. Yeah, we could have dished it off, but we're we're ball hogging it. And ooh, a little low, a low floater in there. We haven't gotten many steals yet, though. That's the one thing with this 90 defense. I would imagine it's not. They, they didn't spend all the skill points on the blocking. Uh, it was probably in steals. There we kind of almost uh, steal one. We can we swipe it. And there we go. Finally got one. We're gonna give an outlet pass. Spinning way too much. I don't know what's going on with the spin moves. Way too much spinning going on here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, let's go. Another spin. That's what I... Man, the spins really kill me. Uh, let me know. Is there a way that I... Am I just tapping the, the uh, drive button too much? Is that what's going on? What should I be doing if I didn't want... If I, if I want to do the crossover rather than the spin. Because I see like... I seem to get a lot of spin moves here. See, there's another one. What if I hold the drive button? Well, then I can't get by anybody. What the deuce is going on? Oh! Oh, let's go. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, I like that. I like that. We can do that again. We can do that again. That was kind of, that was low-key nasty right there, man. Dang, he is pretty shifty. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and that's against the 99 overall card, by the way. Baron Davis missing the shot there. Let's give it back to Spud. Let's give it back to Spud here. Come on, man. Muggsy Bokes is another card. Oh, he made that? Wow, bad release and everything. He made it. Uh, Muggsy Bokes is another card that I really enjoyed playing with, along with Minute Bowl. I like the extremes, if you guys can't tell already. I like the extremes. I like pushing it to the limit. Oh, what is that? Offensive foul, man. All over Spud. They get clotheslined there. We got three seconds, guys. Let's see if we can hit the buzzer beater. He's got the in-the-paint ability. Oh, the spin is killing us again, and this time he makes it, but it doesn't count once again. But nice animation nonetheless. Um, anyways, guys, that's gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this Spud Web gameplay. Once again, I did pretty crappy, but I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, we tried to push it to a 103 overall lineup. It looks like it wasn't meant to be. We need a better center. Uh, I think there's a few centers out there that are higher overall than a 96 in the small ball, but none of them are auctionable. So, I like, there's a league versus league reward that you can get, I believe. Uh, and there's a couple, there's, a, there's, I think there's, there might be one more other card that's a 98 overall, but I don't know how I'm going to get my hands on it. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys all. Have a great rest of your day. I'm out. Mahalo.